In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best run defense in Madden 23 that will stop every single run in the entire game. Looking for Madden 23 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com is the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And today, we're just going to be breaking down the best run defense in the game, bar none. We're going to show you guys how to stop all the shotgun runs. Then we're going to also show you guys how to stop under center, single back eye form, you know, bigger formations, heavier formation type runs. So you're going to see how to stop inside zones, stretches, dives, bases, powers, everything. So we're going to be looking at the nickel over formation. This can be found in a few different playbooks. I'm in the 4-6 playbook on defense. That's what I run. Now, technically, you can do what I'm about to show you from any play in the entire formation. However, it's important to note that cover four defenses and cover zero blitzes will have the safeties playing more aggressively in the run because they're automatically in run fits. So I personally like to do this a lot from like cover four quarters. I like to play match coverage. To do this, I'm just going to turn my zone coverage adjustment on to match, and then I'm going to put my auto flip on. So that's pretty much it. And this is going to be even effective against the quad father guys, um, the King Henry guys, you know, all the best running backs in the game. This works very well against. So with the nickel over, you can definitely sub and safeties at linebacker if you want. You might even consider, consider, excuse me, using secure tacklers to make sure you don't get a lot of broken tackles if you are going up against one of the best running backs in the game with these X factors that, right now. But Super easy setup, guys. I'm going to first show you how to stop inside zone. Then we're going to go to base, look at powers, and then finally get under center. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. So we're just going to simply pinch our D-line and use our D-linebacker on the running back side of the formation, kind of over the guard. So against inside zone, it's just all about knowing the hole to hit. But remember, and we can press our coverage, but that's not necessary. Remember, because we're in cover four, these safeties will play the run a little bit more aggressively than if we were, say, in cover two or cover three. That's why I prefer to play either cover four or cover zero against the run. So anyways, we're going to just get on the linebacker on the running back side of the formation. We stand kind of right in the spot over the guard at the snap, kind of just shoot the gap. And as you guys can see there, you know, we're able to make the tackle in the backfield. He did break the tackle because, you know, he's the quad father. He got the X factor. However, if that was a secure tackler there, you know, he wouldn't have been able to break it. And you guys can see here, again, you kind of just wait till the ball snapped. And you kind of just shoot in the A gap. It's pretty easy to do. And as you guys can see here, even though he broke the tackle, look at the safeties. The safeties are immediately playing the run. And therefore, they're going to easily be able to help out if we need it. Now, guys, I'm going to show you a few more examples. Just a reminder, I do free Madden 23 tip videos and gameplays on my channel. So if you're enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, comment, everything like that does help me out a lot. Now, I bet you guys are wondering if it's possible to blow up these inside zone runs from other defensive formations, for example, Dollar. Dollar only has three down defensive linemen, whereas Nickel over had four. So while you can do it from Dollar, and I'm about to show you guys how it's a little bit different, and I will let you guys know that I like four downline sets better overall for stopping the run. So we're in this inside zone, and if we're in a set like Dollar, I'm in this DB fire too, all I'm going to do is press my coverage from a base alignment, and then I shift my defensive line opposite the running back. So say the running back is on the right, I'm going to shift my defensive line to the left. Then you're going to want to use the linebacker safety, if you saw the safety in front of the linebacker on the running back side, kind of like hide by this D lineman. The best way I can describe this placement is kind of like just right next to the D lineman, it's outside hip, and kind of like a yard or half yard behind him. You can mess around with it in practice mode, but it's not hard, and it just allows you to shoot, shoot that gap. You kind of just loop right around. You kind of need to do it in a tight motion to that D lineman. You guys can look at the replay here. You're going to see that basically I'm able to just hit that A-gap by looping around him just like that. So again, you shift it away from the running back. You shift the D-line away from the running back. So if the running back's on the right, you shift the left. You get on the same side of the screen linebacker and kind of just get right in the spot right here on the outside hip. And at the snap, kind of just loop around into the backfield as you guys can see. Hit him in the backfield again. Lost the X-factor. Looking to become a better Madden player and win more games? Check out SportsGamers.com. I built SportsGamers.com from the ground up to give you the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks, all at the best price, bar none. 
We have a VIP membership that gives you access to the entire site, every ebook and every tip we release all year long for only $24.99. Click the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comments and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. Now I do want to show you guys some more examples from Nickel Over as I do feel that that's the superior run formation. But as you guys can see here, it is possible to stop the run from Dollar as well. So just to show you guys again, all I'm going to do is pinch my defensive line and press my coverage. I don't actually pinch the whole defense, just the defensive line. And I get on the linebacker on the same side of the screen as the running back. So here are the running backs on the right. Get on the linebacker on the right of the screen. Kind of stand over the guard a few yards back. Basically kind of where he's lined up by default. The snap, kind of just shoot in. The backfield. And as you guys can see there, I didn't even need to do anything that time because my defense you know, was able to blow it up themselves. And he lost his X factor. So, if you're going up against a formation with the running back on the left of the screen, that's fine. Still, you just pinch your D-line, and you use the running back, I'm sorry, the linebacker on the running back side, this time it's on the left, right? Pretty simple. So, at the snap, you kind of just pause, and you just shoot through the gap, and you guys can see I was able to get in there. Now, he tried to he tried to cut back because he saw me shooting the gap, but even though I'd already dove to try to make the tackle, you guys can see I'm shooting in the A-gap, so he tries to cut it back. As you see here, my other guys are pursuing for the tackle. So again, you just pinch your D-line. You can press, but you don't have to. The snap, you kind of just shoot in that A-gap. And you guys can see, again, he tries to cut back, but you know we have pursuit. So now if you're going up against a base, it's kind of a similar concept, but a little bit different. Power runs or bases are going to essentially pull the guard around. So it's kind of a little bit of a different way to do it. So you're still going to pinch your D-line and press if you want. And you kind of still want to get on the running back side of the formation. The only difference is you have to kind of like take a different angle to get into the backfield because that guard, he's going to pull around. So I'm kind of just shooting in that like right there. I just have to make sure I don't go too fast so the guard doesn't like get me as I'm, as I'm coming through the gap. That's about it though. Again, you guys see when you pinch your D-line on these four downline sets, there's very easy gap shoots, right? And the thing about this is, is you don't always have to make the tackle just to if you're able to alter the running back's path or if someone does end up blocking you, you, you know, you're essentially in your gap taking on the blocker and this is going to be run, run to either way. But yeah, we, we do have the definitely really easy lanes to shoot, gaps to shoot. We're able to get in here. As you guys can see, get rid of his X factor. So that's kind of what I like to do against shotgun. The only other thing is if they do have a mobile quarterback, they're going to run read options out on you. Just put your option defense on conservative, and you'll be good to go. Now, if someone's under center on you, I like to use a similar concept. You know, if someone that's running like stretches, dives, and whatnot, I run a similar concept out of Overstorm Brave. So with Overstorm Brave, I'm going to baseline and press, and I'm going to get on the guy that's manned up to the running back. So that's the first thing. The next thing you're going to do is spread your D-line out and pinch your linebackers. Final thing you're going to do is put both of your D-ends in coverage. Here, we'll just do a hard flat and QB contain. So when you QB contain, because you put the DNs in coverage, you're going to actually see the linebackers are now in contain, and they're going to shoot in the backfield. They're going to knife through and be able to get in there on stretch-type runs, and we're kind of just watching the middle ourselves if they happen to run, you know, a dive or something. But again, you guys see my linebacker shot that gap. If he kept going, it was a tackle for a loss. He tried to cut back away from my defender, and he kind of just ran right into me. And you guys see here, if you could playmaker the run the other way, here we'll go left. Same thing's gonna happen. So again, you baseline press, you spread your D-line, pinch your linebackers, put each D in coverage, doesn't matter what, I'll just put them in hard flats and you QB contain to make sure these linebackers are the ones that it contains. So again, as the user, you're kind of watching for the inside runs and kind of just helping out. Again, nowhere to go, tackle it in the backfield. So this is even effective against like formations like that have a fullback. Um, they want to run a power type run, a dive. It does not matter. This is going to work well. Um, here we're going to just go, let's see here what we got. We can go strong eye and run a dive. So this is going to be a heavy set. We got a fullback, two tight ends, one receiver. You would think that this would probably be something to pound nickel, right? But it's actually not. Again, as the user, I kind of just stand over the center a few yards back from linebacker depth. Now, as you guys can see here, and an inside run, that just allows me to shoot the gap directly into the backfield. Um, again, I'm you know, wanting to make the tackle, yes. But if the fullback blocks me, that's fine. 
because at least then I've eliminated the lead blocker. Here I just had the free lane and I was able to make the tackle. Combine that with Peppers for a loss of a few yards on the play. So you guys have seen here, I'm literally playing against Quadfather with this X-Factor. He hasn't had a good run the whole video. I've knocked him out as X-Factor every time. And this is just lockdown run defense for everything you're going to face. The only downside to this is that, you know, by using, you know, the safety on the under center run, you do have to be responsible because it's man defense for the running back. So if you see them pass the ball, just make sure you check the running back if he goes out on route. You also could shade your coverage over the top if you don't want to press to give up, you know, a clean release for a quick score, like if they pass the ball on a streak. Also, watch for corner routes because it is man-to-man -man defense. But other than that, it's pretty much locked down. These under center sets aren't as easy to pass from, from shotgun anyways, so you should be fine. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. It's Duke, and I'll be back with some more great Madden 23 content very, very soon.